hello. Ready to smoke the peace pipe with me? This is Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker HD Edition. So, um, I kind of want to explain a little bit about this game before I start. Also, hi everyone. A um, little early today because I've been pawning my collectible Shrek cards that I got the other day. And uh, I've made a total of 15, sh 15 Shrekles. Oh, we're starting early today, aren't we? Um, no, seriously though, I want to talk about what this game is and kind of explain why I'm playing it. The first thing is I'm playing it because Metal Gear Solid 3 impressed me a lot and it got me back into the series. And um, this game came out on the PSP after Metal Gear Solid 4. And... I've never played this before, just like I had never played Metal Gear 3, Metal Gear Solid 3. Um, so this game was the second Metal Gear game on the PSP, and by many accounts, the better of the two. It takes place 10 years after Snake Eater. And the idea of it is, um, it was released after Metal Gear Solid 4, so a lot of the gameplay mechanics from 4, I would assume, have kind of like all the refinements kind of were put in this game so it plays really well um, this will not be a full playthrough I've already started the game so I kind of feel like this is one of those games I could just play a mission or two during stream every now and then but this is kind of a game I want to explain uh, explain experience on my own and just kind of enjoy it in my own time in my own way um, I haven't done the verses yet, actually. Is this Xbox Live? Do I need, like, Xbox Gold for this? All right, I'll tell you what. I'm not doing that right now. Let's not start with that. Okay, so... That's Master... Master Miller! Snake, it's me, Master Miller. Um, he's, like, Snake's trusted kind of guy. Um, I can explain the story a little bit, if you're interested. I don't know too much about the story so far because I just started the game, but I can tell you kind of how it starts. Look at those aviators, man. Um, so this game is, like I said, it takes place about 10 years after Snake Eater. Um, from what I understand, Solid Snake basically are liquid, 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 fucking naked snake, aka Big Boss decided he didn't want to be a part of the government, so he started his own thing. Um, and this is his base. Um, I know there's a story of portable ops that's in between here, and I'm not going to play that, so. And basically, they just kind of, they're like soldiers for hire. You'll see it says Military Sans Frontiers, which is like soldiers without borders kind of thing. And the idea is, um, right in the beginning, you find out that, um, like, the intro scene is, um, in 1974, uh, this dude comes to Snake, Ramon Mania, and he basically says there are problems, there are soldiers, really well-equipped, well-armed soldiers in Costa Rica, and he wants Snake to figure out what's going on. Okay, I've done enough explaining. Some of the systems... This is only the second time I've played this, by the way, so if I'm explaining this poorly, I apologize. Um, you'll notice I have two teams here, Combat and R&D. And basically, these are guys that you can kind of recruit and have them be a part of your base. And they serve different functions. And you can also kind of research new weapons, so it's very, very different than Metal Gear Solid 3. This this game has way more of a, an RPG feel to it in, in a lot of ways. Like, you, you spend time researching and, and hiring new people, and then you kind of send them on missions. There are main missions, and there are extra missions. A little confusing at first, but I think I got it. So, as you can see, I'm right at the beginning of the game, so I'm just going to do this mission. The direction Amanda Sandinistas were going corresponds to the location of the next outpost, a supply depot. We should be able to make contact with her there. Okay. 
So, apologies for those that really want to get the story here. Um, I would just say find a way to play it, because it's pretty cool. This is merely a sample. Vinny, how do you stay up so late on a regular basis? Um, my sleep schedule is just reversed. Like, I sleep for eight hours. I just sleep at weird times. I've always kind of been more of a night owl. They've got reinforcements coming. All right, so you'll notice, graphically, this is a little bit worse than... Hang on a second, I gotta reverse the uh, camera here. Because Bayonetta has it like this. All right, it's more... Um, graphically, it's a little worse than Metal Gear Solid 3 because this is a PSP game, but this is the HD edition, so it doesn't look too bad. Um, but yeah, stylistically, this is like Costa Rica, so you'll notice it's more jungle. So it does resemble MGS3 way more than it resembles, say, number two. Um, you'll notice some differences right off the bat, like in the menus here. I got an empty magazine. Huh? What was that noise? They know someone's there. They'll be coming to check it out. Oh, there's another guy over there. I'm seeing things. So the stun... The trank gun... <laughs> functions much like it does in Snake Eater. This is a Fulton. Don't worry, no one will see that. <laughs> a helicopter will now pick that guy up. Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete. Um, you'll see there's a camo index. I'd rather not waste my ammo on this guy. I can help it. Um, the gameplay in this is really solid. Being able to crouch walk in and of itself is amazing. You'll notice it's not first person. Okay, I, I actually have to change the camera back because I'm getting confused. Again, pro tip. Actually, here's a bit of a warning. First time I'm playing this game, guys. Don't expect professional playthrough. If that's what you're here for, you will be sorely disappointed. I will try my best, however. Let me just rub his dick real quick. Oh, yeah. Not enough room, huh? We'll keep it here at the base. So that's cool. I didn't know you could send ammo to the base. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. Nice. So yeah, no one sees that. No one no one knows what's going on. They're just, you know, they're they're busy worrying about themselves. Um it's not going to be a full playthrough because I want to kind of get to other things and this is more or less unplanned. And this is a slightly longer game and I want to experience it on my own. <laughs> So you'll get a few missions here and there. Recovery the helicopter is complete. Whoa! Whoa! It's all right, buddy. You did well. You did well. Let me rub your ass and just prove it to you. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. All right, so the physics of throwing an enemy against a wall are astounding. Okay, that, that's not openable. Um, also, for anyone just joining us, hello. I know I'm streaming a little earlier today. It's because I might be busy a little bit later on, but also because I've been kind of craving 
this game. I haven't played it in a few days. I've only played it once, and it's really good. I would say control-wise, it is in some ways better than Snake Eater. And I've heard that the PSP version had more assified controls, and that the HD edition fixes a lot of that. Um, I think so far I'm enjoying the gameplay on par with Snake Eater. Here's the other thing. With Snake Eater, you had more detailed environments, like, like you'll have like wildlife. Like, sure, there's a thing out there, like a log floating, but you, you don't have to worry about eating. You don't have to, like, catch a frog, like, chop it up and eat it. You don't have to worry about, like, healing your wounds the same way you would in Snake Eater. So, in some ways, they streamlined things a bit. And remember, this game came out after Metal Gear Solid 4. Um, and from what KY told me, the amount of development time they put into this game, it was almost MGS5. So... Uh, yeah, you'll notice that the aiming is a little bit different this time around. Like, you know, it's, it's, first of all, it's... This guy's goes to space. Um, oh, there's a dude over there, across the river. You'll notice it's not first person, that's first, so the controls are a little bit different, and it is a little different. You'll notice that I don't have precise aim, which means I have to be way more... Like, this is going to be a risk shot. I mean, you could line it up, but in a pinch, it is not as easier as Snake Eater was. Like, I can't just, you know, aim from across the fucking map and expect results quickly. Like, I have to really take time to line up my shot. Um, you do upgrade weapons, so weapons do get point. better. That's beyond the scope of this operation. Oh, okay, Miller. Sorry. Whatever you say, Miller. The game does have a bit of a um, auto aim slightly. Like you'll notice that the that that rope Hurry. the reticule is a little bit like kind of it locks on in some ways. It's aim assist, not auto aim. Also, the silencer is you know the the silencer breaks very quickly on this, so it's it's not good to overuse it if you don't have to. Ammo. All right, what's gonna happen with the Fulton if there's a thing above him? Ah, uh, no fucks given. That's fine. Fulton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Um, I'll show you a few other little features of the game, and this is again, this is my first time playing this game, so I'm kind of pointing these things out for my own benefit as well. So there's the bridge, um, but yeah, you'll see that the pause menu has a lot of information. This is very Monster Hunter. Like, different areas like this. There's even, from what I understand, Monster Hunter missions in this. This is Miller, hearing you loud and clear. You know you can assign the radio to the back button by choosing options from the menu window. Oh, you can actually turn auto-aim on by pressing the back button. I'll just try to avoid that if possible. Um, when you don't have anything equipped, you have a stun rod, which is, you can go into first person. So you don't have a knife, there's no, like, knife and gun gameplay. There's, there's more, from what I understand, the stun rod is, is more like the knife this time around. You might be able to get past the enemy by hanging from the bridge. Press the action button near the bridge's handrail to hang. Oh, he's coming. He's coming you right at me. Down when you're crouching. Yep. There's a box. There's also this, which you'll see as I make noise, it detects it. And it detects other noise in which direction. So you see the guy's footsteps are being picked up by this device. Pretty cool. I actually like it better than some of the snake eater options.
You think he'll notice? So this is what happens when you get caught. Good. You shook him. They're still looking though. Don't make it easy for them. I thought I could run past him. He turned away. He turned around very quickly. Fulton's left, but yeah, we'll send him back to base. Controls are a little different than MGS3, so you, you kind of have to get used to it. I also have this weapon. It's loud. It's not very fast, but it is effective for clearing out, you know, groups of enemies. I've, I've had to use it in a pinch a few times. I love the new CQC functionality in this game. It works really, really well. It's a lot of fun. You can slam enemies to the ground in whatever direction you choose, meaning you can also slam enemies into each other. Wait, what's this? Oh, this is across the river. This guy's still sleeping. Confidential documents. Details for developing the M10. Those might be weapon details. Okay, got some ammo. What's going on? That was enough to knock him out, apparently. This will work. Yeah, it does. The here. What? Oh no! Stay out of the water. That's beyond the scope Shut of up, the Miller. Operation. I'm a little busy. We found the enemy. Send back up. Understood. Dispatching reinforcements now. All right. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't even see that fucking guy. Um. So we're gonna take care of these reinforcements. You can't do quick quick reloading like you could in MGS3. So that's Better that's out. Careful. The enemy's still searching for you. I don't see any enemies left. Oh, uh, one of the side effects of killing enemies is you can't pat them down for ammo and stuff. So in many ways, it's better to go non-lethal. This is HQ. This is patrol. All clear. Understood. Return All clear. Where's that voice coming from? Why does that always happen in these games? This is... I'm playing this on the Xbox 360. This is the HD edition. Careful now. They might be holding FSLN soldiers prisoner. Okay. Right, this, is, this is where the radar thing that I have is going to come in handy, because... It'll help me see where the noise is coming from. So we know there's a guy there. There's two guys there. There's one to the left. What's that noise? Come find out. Hmm? 
Okay. They'll never know. They'll never know. Oh, more Fulton. A maximum of 100 people can be recovered per mission. Oh my god, could you imagine a mission where you have to recover 100 people? Where you actually have to get a message? You've recovered more than 100 people, stop. We don't want any more at base. Snake, this is Miller. You need to stop. This is getting sick. To send a prisoner to Mother Base, equip the Fulton recovery system. Select equipment by pressing the X or B button while holding LB. Oh, come on! Oh, come the on! Recovery helicopter is complete. All right, my Fulton disbelief is now completely just off. There's, I don't even care anymore. I don't even care you. It's fine. I don't even care. If that's going to happen, then I accept that the Fulton is magic. It's as simple as that. All right. Well, this is more of that supernatural stuff that the Metal Gear series is so famous for. I get it. Alright, um... There's a dude on the other side. There. Come near me, there's going to be hell to pay. Start talking. They don't voice act that stuff. You're gonna have to pass through the sorting area to get to the other side. Jesus. <laughs> I was gonna say, I wonder if that kills anyone. Um, huh. hmm. Blah, 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 blah. Fine, we'll send him. We'll send him to base. Whatever. He wants to be at our base. He wants to be a prisoner of war. Press the action button in front of a prisoner to take them to Mother Base using the Fulton recovery system. It, wow. And you know what the best part is? I, I mean, the gameplay in this is so solid. It's really, really good. But it's like when that happens, it's just, it's hard not to laugh. Also, I got another love box, guys. Apparently this fits two people. All right. Um, well. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that. No. Okay, I guess I have to go around. I'm not going to use a Fulton on this guy. I'm going to let him sleep. I'll just pat his nipples real quick, though. Okay. 
big boss. That's that's how he looks in this game for anyone who's curious. It's been 10 years, still looking pretty good. Still looking like he's ready to fucking like eat a milk steak, a hard-boiled milk steak. Tiger stripe camouflage raises camo index near water. Now you can't change camo Mission details. You can't change camo while you're on the mission, as far as I understand. You have to do that before the mission. So before the mission begins, you can choose if you want to use a certain camo or not. I chose this camo last time because of the jungle stuff that I'm doing. Okay, these dudes are a little bit different looking. Alright, they look pretty horrifying to kill with a tranquilizer, for example. Looks like there's no way around him. You up for this, Snake? Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, to be continued in the next... <laughs> okay. Please buy the next mission DLC pack. So you gain experience. Again, this is all ways in which it differs from MGS3. You'll see I got a C ranking, which um, isn't amazing, but... I probably could have done a lot better on that mission had I, I gone faster. I'm gonna try guys, I'm gonna try to take out the tank with CQC. Good point. A place this big needs a good stockpile on hand. The Japanese say, you can't fight on an empty stomach. Something we learned in World War II. Obviously. Wow, that voice got so much more gruff. ...is one of the basic principles of logistics. So I went ahead and set up a mess hall team. The team members' numbers and abilities will affect the amount of grub to go around. Without enough food, morale will drop. They get hungry enough, and we could start losing people. Anyway, I need you to assign guys to the mess hall team. Copy that. I got plenty of guys for the mess mess hall. Plenty of guys. It's me, Snake, Master Miller. Like what? No, no. It's... Lick. My name is Master Miller. Oh, I got a new gun and a sniper rifle, and ready for development. And a bunch of guys I got. Magpie and lobster. Oh wait, no, no, no. Lobster I had already. Staff morale is falling, so yeah, I need I need food. Okay, so I'm assuming they're gonna add things as you go along. Let, let's see the tutorial. Food is greater than 100 percent Morale will rise, raising their natural abilities. If it falls below, morale will lower. Soldiers will defect and ultimately leave Mother Base if morale is too low. Hmm. Alright, well these are all the new people that we have. I, I think these might have been enemy soldiers that I, I recovered from last time. So, for example, Swallowtail, Lizard, Mort, Gobi. This guy's name is Gobi. What, what are you guys thinking about? Iguana, Yak, Capybara, Tuna. I bet Tuna is a very effective soldier. Anyway, you'll see they have ranks. Right? So you got combat, repair, I guess food, and the other ones I haven't unlocked yet. But um, you can auto-assign, which is a godsend. Ready for development. Twin barrel shotgun. Fulton rank 2. Ready for development. Nice. Cool. I'm, I am loving this game. Alright, so, you'll see that the mess hall people are people I auto-assigned.
Miller's a good cook, apparently. Uh, Koi Poo. We'll put him in mess hall. Because he's good at cooking. And I guess that'll be good for mess hall for now. Um, development helps development of your weapons and stuff. And, and items go faster. And combat you can use on bonus missions. I think there's more to it than that. Oh, thank God Rhinoceros likes me, guys. Thank God. Trout says, balls to the wall, boys. How does tuna feel, I wonder? Things are never better when they're ordinary. Or then when they're ordinary. He likes just being regular. Like, he wants- that's why his name is Tuna. Nothing extraordinary about this guy. He just likes- He just likes being... A tuna fish. Tuna confirmed for best. <laughs> hey, Fred. Fred, have you um, played Peace Walker? How do you feel about it? Because KY is a huge Peace Walker fan. He's um, one of the reasons I actually wanted to play this because he, he built it up. And I was like, yeah, all right. So in order to get this weapon, my Trank Gun, to level three, I need to get a lot of things higher levels. So you'll see, you're kind of capped with some of the development. So R&D needs to be level 26. Intel level 10. I don't even have an Intel team yet. But anyway, those- whoa, voice. Anyway, those are the pistols I have. So now we have the M19... M1911A1. Um, I could research this shotgun here. You'll notice it says GMP 3841. I have 36,000 in the top right. So, by researching this, it costs money and time. Which, at a later mission, it'll be done researching. Um... Upgrade that. I could get the submachine gun too. Might hold off on that. Alright, so I have this sniper rifle now. That's good. Okay. Law. I have missiles. Uh, grenades. Smoke grenade. I don't have researched yet. Uh, solid M. Can't get that one. Stun rod. Strength increases the more it is used. Interesting. Okay, um... Twin BRL. Oh, right, right, that's current research. Those are new. Alright, those are weapons. Then there's items. So, Fulton system. I can now research this further. Which, I'm not sure what researching it further does. Maybe you get more of them to start? Anyway, that seems like a pretty good bet. The analyzer detects enemies' information. So I'm gonna try to bring that with me. Walkman! Your favorite tunes wherever you go. Press start to access in the controls menu. And sonar. Or surround indicator, sorry. This is good. I wanna get that upgraded as soon as that's unlocked. And other... few rare items you've collected, including detail. Oh, this is just like design specs and fatigues and stuff. Okay, so that's what you do at the base. Then you go to mission selector. And you'll notice I have a new bonus mission, extra ops, shoot the targets, so we'll do that, just so I can show you guys what, training mission. Missions what these like look like. Are key to building up your basic skills. Be careful out there. So mission prep, um, instead of snake, I'm gonna use trout, cause he's got a big ass afro, and he's awesome. So you'll notice you can change your loadout.
But you could have one pistol. And... Oh, I didn't realize that. Placeable weapons. Assault rifles. Okay, so that's, that's different. Tuna's in the mess hall. I can't, I can't be bothering him with every time I need a little training. Um, well, let's see. I'm gonna use the sniper rifle and the M1911. Oh, I'm doing well. I actually, I meant to tell you guys, I've been playing a little bit of Fallout Shelter because it came out on Android. It's fucking addictive. Get the targets as fast and as accurately as you can. It's pretty intense recoil on this. Son, up in this shit. Oh, fucking miss the targets. Hmm, that's too tall to climb. If only you had some equipment. What? What? Look at look at how he gets back to base. <laughs> Amazing. He rides the balloon into space when the fucking helicopter picks him up. Yeah, exactly, Fred. Why not just fault in myself up? I got an A rank on that. So that's bonus missions are good for like. I guess you get a little bit of money, I'm not sure. And also you get experience for your weapons and stuff. So you could level up your trout. A personnel report has arrived. A report from the R&D team has arrived. Okay. Ooh, Fulton, rank two. Trout has leveled up. Dorado has apparently leveled up. Alright, now we'll do Snake's mission. You gotta recruit Kojima before he gets patched out. I didn't even know Kojima was in this game, but if I can find him, I will recruit the fuck out of him. That's an armored vehicle unit, Snake. Either destroy the vehicle or neutralize the soldiers. Take it out. Okay, guys. I think I'm going to bring this with me. And I also think I'm going to be bringing this pistol with me since that can neutralize soldiers. I've got grenade. I've got grenades with me. I've got Fulton. Let me try this analyzer. I haven't used the analyzer yet. Walkman. Got to bring the Walkman. I'm walking on sunshine. Gotta listen to some tunes while I'm shooting people in the head. I swear this is normal behavior. I don't even have that gun with me. Neutralize that armored vehicle somehow. The accompanying soldiers are armed to the teeth. Watch yourself. Oh, this is taking a lot of damage. Is... 
you can run while reloading, which is a godsend. Whoa, this thing's fast, son. Okay, the pistol is not working out. That is really loud. Okay. Okay. Give me some cover. I don't know if this pistol was a great idea. Wow, I want to live forever, too. Whoa, what the fuck? Damage zero? Oh, because he's got a helmet on. Okay, let's just go ahead and keep that guy stunned. These guys, bring these guys back to base. Move in. Move in. Come on. All right, that sucked. I didn't bring rations with me. Oh, fuck. Yeah, now's not the time for this item. I'm out of I'm out of rockets, so it's it's all grenades from here on out. God damn it, guys. I should have brought rations. I forgot that I didn't fucking have them automatically. Oh, wait. I do have rations. That's a ration? I thought that was a box. God damn it. Oh, that's going to be fun. All right. We're good. We're good. And no, I'm not looking at the chat while this is happening. I don't want to die. So if you've been telling me I had rations, then 
you know, thanks, but too late. Oh, fuck, snake, wrong way. Oh, shit, I'm out of grenades now. Nice, good job. Good job, dropping your grenade. I keep pressing the wrong button. There's got to be grenades around here somewhere. Maybe not. Maybe there are no grenades. Maybe this is this is it. Oh wait, what's this? What's this? 45 ACP. Oh, I can't even carry that. I think I'm going to have to try to kill this guy with a pistol. The weakest pistol in the game. Alright, well, <laughs> here goes. Yeah, this is a bad, bad angle for this. We need music. I guess. This music is awesome. This is the VR mission. Law ammo. That was pretty cool. A drone. Only they weren't called drones back then. They were called anti-grav UFO technology. could have captured the tank. You could have gotten the ATV. Oh, god damn it. Can I replay that mission and get the tank? Oh! Oh 
Chico Libri gonna shoot it. Yes, I had control of that. That's what she wanted. Chico to know. Kept it a secret. Somosa's Guardia chased us out of Nicaragua. Across the Rio San Juan. And we ended up here. The only reason we've been able to keep on fighting. Uh, Amanda. The factory. You saw it? The banana factory. Front. There's always the money in the banana factory. The KGB set it up for us to run. We used the income to buy food and weapons. Uh, uh, mi viejo never said a word, but we all knew. Oh, everyone except Chico. Everything we have, our weapons, our compass. I could see her bones. He brought it all together. Her broken bones. We were going to rebuild our country. Rebuild Nika with our own hands. Even if we had to dirty our hands. That to doesn't do look it. normal. But it's all over. We lost our cacique. Papa. I could never replace him. Now they've taken the plant from us, too. There's no place left to regroup. No way to fight la revolucion. <laughs> Here, I rolled you one. What about you? You're going after that cargo? Yeah. Must be important, hmm? Hmm. Looks that way. It looks like it could be nukes. David Hayter's voice got so nukes. deep. From MGS1 Madre to now. Dios. No time to waste. We must get to Irasu. Like his snake voice got so much more gravelly. The transport route leads there. It must be where they're nukes. holding Chico and my compass, too. Whenever Chico and I argue, he goes off to be by himself. That's why he knows more than anybody about their bases. He... Oh, Chico. You're pretty worried about your baby brother. This is why I'm not fit to be a leader. Fine. It's a little bit out of my way, but... Just tell me where I need to go. There's a prison up in the mountains. That's probably where he is. A prison in the mountains. You must do something for me. If you can't save Chico, I want you to ease his pain, end his humiliation. If he gives in, if he's about to sell out his compass, please. At least let him keep his honor. 
But that's how I feel about that's David Hayter. I can't make. Like, let him keep his Why? honor. Let him do MGS5. Amanda, we gave up our homes, but we're still alive. We're still fighting. And there's always another reason to keep on living. Uh, I feel alive again. Amanda, join my unit until you've healed up. Your unit? Yeah. Who are you? Why are you here? I'm Snake. Serviente. Yeah. Snake? Could it be? The great cacique has come to be us. Strap a Fulton on her. Kaz, can you hear me? MSF here. One for recovery. She's wounded. Acknowledged. Kaz, the cargo on the barge. I was right. It's headed for the mountains. You think that's where they're taking the nukes? I'm sure of it. Let's move. Remember, this is still really early on in the game. This is like right in the beginning still. So you, you just missed a few things. Like, like I said, I won't be streaming this whole game. I'll be doing a few missions from time to time. But... Tortilla chips recipe rank one. <laughs> Can soft drink rank one. Bananal. Bananal fruta de oro. Snake, Amanda's reached the plant. Snake. Amanda, how do you feel? Some first helicopter ride. I'll be perfectly happy if it's my last. As you can see, she's doing fine. I set Amanda up with her own frequency, so call her anytime you need to. If you have any questions about American bases or mercenary units, or about El Frente, just ask. And please, do not forget my compass and Chico. Don't worry. It's good to be working with you, boss. Thank We can monitor her condition in sickbay. Remember to assign roles to any POWs you bring back to Mother Base. How this outfit gets built depends on who we assign to what jobs. That'll determine how Mother Base grows. It's one of your most important roles, boss. Yeah, I know. Let me shoot people. You take care of Mother Base. Boss, one more thing. Now what? It's about sick bay. Naturally, we can use it for the sick or injured like we did with Amanda. But we can't expect people to get better without the proper treatment. Uh-huh. So, I figure we'll need a medical team for that. The number of team members and their abilities will determine how quickly the sick and injured heal. They can also monitor everybody's health. Right. Prevention is the best medicine. You got it. Remember to wash your hands often and gargle twice a day, boss. <laughs> what? Only I had the time. He gargles rocks. That's why his voice is like that. Seriously, though, it's kind of sad that MGS5 is probably going to be the last... Kojima Metal Gear Solid game. So, you know, it's it's like it would have been nice to have David Hayter do it. But, you know. Gorilla is being reasoned with in the brig due to intense hostility over a cup of coffee. Cup of coffee in the big time. Yeah. Transported to sick. Sick bay due to sick. Hummingbird is sick. I don't know what he's got. I don't know what he contracted from who, but. A higher level of medical team will lower the chance of sickness breaking out for the more speed which soldiers sent to the sick bay recover. Increase more. 
high level medical team will enable you to develop high rank trank guns as well. That's good. Grouper. Who's Grouper? Well, we need to get some people over to sickbay. Who here has sick base skills? Lungfish, guys. Lungfish is a natural born medic. We're also gonna put some R&D people over in um, medical team just to fill it up a bit. people to make it level. I need people to make the level go up. Maybe that'll be good for now, I guess. Um, shit. Well, now I gotta start research on the goddamn shotgun again. close to being complete too. Oh, it's it's going still. I, I think it's still working. What is that? What is that? Oh, that was just a cable. I thought like a centipede was climbing up my leg. That's fun. Um, there's this weapon. I have enough to develop it. Smoke grenade. Someone said earlier I should get the smoke grenade. Mech. Armored vehicles. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm gonna do that mission again, and this time, I'm just gonna kill the guys. I'm not bringing the law with me. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm bringing the, the law, like the justice, but... I'm not... I'm not gonna bring... <laughs> Stupid. T-chips. Okay, that'll be good for now. We got T-chips being developed. We're developing tortilla chips, guys, in a Metal Gear Solid game. Will I be streaming later on tonight? Probably not. I think this might be my only stream today. But I'm not sure yet. That's an armored vehicle. Okay. Alright, this time... Trank. Well, you can't... Yeah, I can bring two main weapons, right? So, I will bring this. And I will bring Sniper. That should be good for, you know, what I'm trying to do. Um, I don't have any other cool stuff. But yeah, this is good. M16, Sniper Rifle. Perfect. Oh, just so you guys can see... So this is how the, um, camo works. That one's cool. T-stripe. Of course, naked. You, you notice the scar on Snake's chest? You can capture the tank captain as well. How do you capture the tank captain? He's got good stats. I need the trank. Alright. Sniper and trank. Let's make Snake look cool. T-Stripe. Survival. Survival. Just random survival for, for some reason. It's, it's fine. Um, start mission. You'll need to damage the vehicle and take out all the soldiers if you want the captain to appear. So I can use grenades. And then the sniper. Damage the tank halfway with the law. Oh. Well, I'm gonna try to do this with the sniper rifle. If I can't, then yeah, I'm gonna have to get the law. So, anyway, yeah, this is a mission I'm redoing. So, please be patient. Neutralize the enemy troops. 
the sniper rifle is shaky as fuck. The accompanying soldiers are armed to the teeth. Watch yourself. What is it? Wow, these motherfuckers take so much damage. Nice shots, Vin. Good job. Dump the chump and wonk the monk. Okay, that's that's that. Now I have to damage the tank halfway. I will not deny that the law would have been better for this. Not enough room, huh? We'll keep it here at the base. Can't fault in someone who's like dead already. This does like no damage to this tank. All right, fuck this. You guys were right, 100%. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm not emulating this, actually, no. Okay, yeah, so, Law and Trank. Alright, so, damage tank, kill guys, Trank captain. Keep captain. And then, That's an armored vehicle Law unit. the fucking vehicle as well. I'm really curious about how this works, so... And I kind of wouldn't mind having this stuff at my base, so, uh... Yeah, this is probably worth doing, I think. Take out one guys. And the guys who pop out. Fault in their bodies to the cafeteria for me. <laughs> uh, this takes place before... This is 1974, I think, and then the new one's 83, if I'm not mistaken. Neutralize the enemy troops. There we go. The accompanying soldiers are armed to the teeth. Watch yourself. Damage. It's now halfway damaged. Now I gotta go for the guys. Whoa, good grenade, man. Best grenade, 2015. I can't fault him. Okay, it's it's time to run. It is time to run. CQC will do the mission nicely and I can fault in the enemies. I may have to do a little more damage to the tank. No, 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 not necessarily. Defensive 
UFO. What? Okay, now it would be great if those dudes would just come so I could shoot them and, and CQC them. This. This APC's got some pretty good mobility. Move in. Yes, move in, exactly. One is sleeping. Whoa! <laughs> Nice job, APC. Good fucking driving. Oh, wow. I thought they threw it at themselves. Fuck that one up. He's down. He's down. He's sleeping. Smoke grenades would actually be really good for this. If they work like I think they do. Nacho Libre sleeping. That's gotta be the leader. Can you take him down? You bet. I've got twelve shots. I hope it's enough. That's gotta be it. I tranked him like twice. Oh no no, he's got I see the stamina, I see the stamina. Okay, I have to really hit these shots, but I think we can do this. Motherfucker. God, guys. Crazy. Really, really, really cut it close there. Wait, what about the vehicle? Guys, what about the vehicle? Did I get that too? I got that too. Okay, good. So it turns out I have to do this again. Probably until the QTE is over.
front. It's a drug refinery. There we go. Oh, I got a B rank. Enemy soldiers extracted with Fulton 6. 20 at 37%. Snake. Cool. Amanda's reached the plant. Yep, got it. Alright, cool. So now I have six more men that are just happy to work for me. Ah, the shotgun is done. Yes. Submachine gun is done. Smoke grenade's done. Tortilla chips is done! Okay, we got this. Right, uh, mosquito... Rat is being reasoned with in the brig. <laughs> God damn it, rat! Rat and meerkat, you fucking troublemakers. Alright, we got Lynette, pilot. I think Lynette is the captain, guys. He's going to R&D. Uh, we don't have anyone here who's a medic, really. Uh, this gorilla can go to combat. The rest I'm gonna put in medical. Including pilot. Yes, pilot is going to medical. Okay, so she's recovering. Meerkat and rat have no choice but to stay in here. In the details to see exactly how good each person is. Yeah. Yeah, you can kind of. I guess those are like skill descriptions. Gooby, please. Lav G, life 37%, weapons. So now I, I apparently have this, guys. Not for any missions anytime soon, I would imagine, but... Okay. Um, weapon research. Medical team. No, I'm not gonna get that for quite a while. I'm gonna get a silencer for this gun. Twin barrel, that's complete. M16A1 is complete. Oh, or all that's this one I meant, M10. Um, yeah, this this game is pretty awesome, guys. This is a if you could find yourself a copy of the HD collection for whatever system you have, I would recommend it. I'm gonna play a little bit more. Um, I didn't yeah, I know about the Monster Hunter missions. People tell me about those a lot. Um, I'll do them if I can get them. Like I said, I won't be doing a full stream of this game, but I will be doing, you know, a few missions here and there. Like, you'll get a stream like this, maybe three or four of them every now and then. Commencing training mission. Missions like this are... Do this with Snake. Let's try out the new weapons. So we have this, and we've got that Mac 10. When did you first use the term werewolves? Oh God. Um, it was an attempt to create something stupid that made no sense that people would say, and it worked. Spread on this gun is insane, but it's 
like really, really hard to aim with this thing. Wait a minute, what's left? Um, targets? Targets, where are you? There it is. Head for the recovery zone. We'll pick you up there. So this just increases like weapon skill and aim. I'll do the mission to recover Chica. Twin barrel rank, M10 rank. So you can see the more you use it, the more you rank up your skill. I, I just, I did a little poopy there, but that's fine. Uh, if I do that with the Trank, then... I can increase the, the, the fucking accuracy of the Trank gun, which is good because Trank is, I think, one of the best and most important weapons in the Metal Gear games. Alright, so we're gonna do Rescue Chico. Snake, the nukes appear to have left the coastal marshes and reached the mountains around Irazu. But without a guide, it's going to be tough tracking those things in the mountains. So we need you to infiltrate one of their bases, a prison facility. I hope nothing's happened to Amanda's brother. I hear you. There may be other Sandinistas held there too. To bring them back safely to MSF, use the Fulton recovery system. As I'm sure you know from experience, it's completely harmless. After all, you won't have time to sit there and convince every single one of them to join. One other thing, Snake. It's completely Amanda. harmless. Those CIA bastards confiscated some of the houses in the village. Chico's got to be inside one of them. Houses, huh? How do I tell which ones? When they took over the houses, they installed new front doors for security purposes. The new doors are blue, with peepholes, so you can oh, see what's yes. inside. Blue doors. Got it. You're getting close to the end of the transport route. Good luck, Snake. Nick says in chat that Chico's voice actor is the same as Pitt from Kid Icarus Uprising. That should be fun. Alright, so I am going to do that. And I am also going to take the twin barrel with me. I wish I could take a few more weapons with me. But, you know, two is fine. Like, three or four would be kind of cool. But I'll deal with what I have. Chico's in a prison camp north of here. I mean, for PSP, yeah, yeah, this is the HD edition, but you can see, like, the PSP graphics. Pretty decent, semi-convincing jungle for a PSP game. And you know it's like not easy at all to develop a game based in jungle. Can't be imagining things. Because foliage and nature stuff is really, really hard to get to look good and very convincingly. I'm gonna try not to use all of my Fultons on just regular, like, dudes. I don't wanna waste them in case I need them later on. But, they are really, really Fulton temptingly useful. Confirmed on board helicopter. Start talking. 
I'll talk, I'll talk, all right? All right, continue talking. Start talking. <laughs> Start talking. <laughs> Probably just gonna leave that guy like that. Just gonna like leave him there. I don't think I want to fault in his his filthy ass. I'm sure there's better Fultons. It's a good thing I brought my sniper rifle. Oh wait, no, I didn't. I brought the exact opposite of a sniper rifle. Saw me? The end? He's practicing. Guys, he's, he's practicing. Son of a bitch. That modem. That modem potent son of a bitch. If only you had some equipment. Where is he? I didn't see the guy. Fuck. Where is he? Who saw me? Understood. Dispatching reinforcements now. The dispatching reinforcement guy sounds suspiciously a lot like Kaz. I'm suspecting betrayal subplot. Shotgun is fucking awesome, though. I got him in the foot. He'll pass out eventually. The trank medicine needs its time to work. Unless you're Charlie Kelly, in which case you just inject it directly into your cock vein. out sniper okay snipers passed out I want that guy I want the sniper on my team Fulton recovery helicopter is complete well, I don't know if there's a way to get up there I can't fault in myself up there Fulton recovery subject complete Onboard helicopter. POW. So, Vinny, is this game that bad? Someone says in chat, what? I love this game. This is great. Have I given the impression that it's bad? So, wait a minute. There's two ways to go. Um, yeah, sadly, I don't think I'll be able to get up there. Maybe from... This way? 
No, it doesn't look like it. Most people say Peace Walker is bad. I've I've heard the exact Take opposite. These houses. You've got to find him, Snake. He cared for all, for all of three seconds, and then he was just like, nah, I'm, I'm good. I got, I got shit to do. Yeah, the aiming in this game is a little bit rough, though. That's that's one thing. A lot of the, the aiming seems more luck at times than skill. Check inside a house by pressing the action button in front of the door. Mama! <laughs> Your piss. Someone's peeing. Mama. Helicopter is complete. quick enough. Oh wait, yes I was. Mate tea. Select from equipment to drink it. Okay. Oh, you, oh, mate, mate, mate tea. You fucking... Sound. I don't know if it's an enemy. Oh, yeah, it's an enemy. I've got one Fulton left. I don't know if I use too many of them. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. Who's there? 
Chico. Pit. Hey. Joy. Joy, that photographer. That's right. A war <laughs> photographer. Huh? I thought you were here for the birds. Yeah. Oh, little pity pet. Whoa. Is that chess? Can I see it? Wow, the same kind of chair used. You can't keep it, kid. Here, have these instead. Those photos. Huh. Oh no, Amanda! She's safe. Don't worry. Are you sure? We're patching her up back in my place. She no pity punk. I said, don't worry. It's just a broken leg. You got any cigarettes? Mm. Hey, cigar, huh? Hey! How old are you, kid? It's not for kids. Chico, do you know where they took the cargo? Cargo? <laughs> what cargo? Let me rephrase that. How do they get stuff from the coast up here? Oh, that I can tell you. When the cargo gets to the harbor, they first send it up the marshes on a barge. Then, they load it onto a jungle train past the banana plantation and transport it by rail. The train stops here. When it gets to the train terminal past the coffee plantation, they reload it again. This time, onto a truck, which disappears into a tunnel heading toward the mountains. Disappears? Chico, what's on the other side of that tunnel? Nobody God, knows. I love the way Big Boss talks. None of our compass ever got close enough. He's protected by a spirit. A uh, spirit? Yeah, a giant monster. El Basilisco. The king of snakes. No, 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 really, I saw it. I was camping up there one day, and just as I was waking up around dawn, I heard this loud noise. I opened my eyes and saw an enormous shadow. Must have been 30 bara at least. He was walking on legs as big as trees. Where did you see it? At the Shit. terminal near the tunnel. It's an ATAT, -AT, guys. One time. What exactly were you doing there? I, uh... Well, me and my sister got into a fight. And you just happened to go camping. You know, their train should be arriving at the place I saw El Basilisco right about now. Is it far? No, really. Go past the coffee plantation, and it'll be to the north. What are you chasing? Hmm. Something that could keep the world in balance. Or destroy it. Huh? I heard that place was a narcotics plant before those guys took it over. But you already knew that, didn't you? Did you know? Huh. Look, I get it. Even revolutionaries need to pay the bills. Still, must be tough for a kid like you to swallow. You're damn right it is. The route they use to transport stuff is the same one me viejo used to smuggle drugs. They sold the drugs to the Norte Americanos and used the profits to fund the army. They tried to keep it hidden from me. Is that why you went camping? Yes. I managed to sneak into the plant a few times and... I tried to set it on fire. Everyone treats me like a child. I, I, I couldn't stand it anymore. I'm not a kid, I'm 12. Voiced by like a 24 year old. Chico, growing up means choosing how you're gonna live your life. To do the right thing, you sometimes have to leave the things you care about behind. Parents, family, your homeland. But mi viejo. Papa. Chico, look at the photos. Mi look viejo. At them. He's gone. But there's one thing you don't ever leave behind. Your memories. Keep them safe. You want to get out of here, Chico? I do, but... Come back with me. Your sister's waiting for you. I can't go back. I can't face everybody. Come on, Chico. You told them where your compas are. I see. <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed of. Pain gets the better of us all. <laughs> oh, come on now, pity pad. 
No need to cry over Palutena. Okay, then. I'll put you out of your misery. What? Any last words? <laughs> Shoot. You are only going to kill a man. I just wasted a bullet. Don't waste your life. Listen to me, Chico. You died here today. You understand? You're Ombre Nuevo. A new man. Now, give that new life to me. Wow. Huh? Fight with me, little soldier. Show me how strong you really are. I'll fight for you, Snake. <laughs> Jesus. It's awesome. Dry your tears. Then promise me one thing. Coolest guy I ever met. No smoking until you get older. Remember, real heroes are never as polished as the legends that surround them. You got it, boss. You yeah. snake is fine. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> You're dead now. Goodbye. That was actually really good. I really like that cutscene. C4 design. C3. C4. Support. Supply. MK. Hmm. Support strike. MK. Versus mode. One day I'll check Snake. it out. Chico made it over. Snake! Chico, you made it. Made it? Don't give me that. You say you're gonna give me a new life, and then you nearly kill me. <laughs> I take it you didn't enjoy the trap. What's the big idea? Dragging me off in a... balloon. I might as well have taken a Calibri. At least you got a nice view. Or are you afraid of heights? Whatever. I just wish you would explain it to me first. Would you have agreed to go if I did? Thank you for saving us, Snake. Amanda, a word of advice. What? Stop treating him like a child. Yes. Yes, I know. You're right. I shouldn't. Amanda, you're coming back after your leg heals, right? Of course. We still have work to do. We, huh? Are you sure you've got Chico's future in mind when you say that? What do you mean? We're sworn to our father's cause, to helping the revolution succeed. Revolution or no revolution, you pick up a gun and sooner or later you're going to hell. Are you prepared for that? I am. If the alternative is giving up the country I love, I'll take hell. Really? Well then, you're gonna have to stop treating Chico like a brother, and start treating him like a soldier. I... You're right. Welcome to hell. Snake, can I ask you a favor? Shoot. You find any prisoners from El Frente, you bring them back alive. Because... Hmm. You're trying to make amends for talking. Uh, not just that. Because they're compas. All right. But first, I've got to catch up to that cargo. I'll do whatever I can to help. Call me if there's anything you need to know about the area. Uh, and... And what? Let me know if you encounter any wildlife you've never seen before. Never seen before. What, like that Basilisco you were talking about? I'm talking about UMAs. UMAs? You know, like ancient dinosaurs or, or legendary monsters. One day, I'm going to be a hunter. Is that right? Oh, God. Okay. Sure. If oh you God. want to know more, I'm happy to tell you. He's a monster right. hunter. I'll be in touch, Chico. Okay, Snake. The enemy's cargo is headed for the next outpost. A rail terminal. Chico says no one's ever set foot past there. Their main base is probably on the other side of that tunnel. Unless we catch those spears before reaching it, they'll be in enemy hands. You've got to stop them. Hurry, Snake. So someone in chat said that 
after David Hayter did Old Snake's voice in Metal Gear Solid 4, like he made it extra scratchy. Idea. Okay, never mind. I'll Let tell me you guess. In a minute. You want to start running ads in the local gossip rags. Please, what do you take me for? I thought that with all the new guys we've got, we should get an intel team going. We'd send agents around the country to scout out different locations. That way we're better prepared, no matter where we end up. Hmm, that's actually not a bad idea. They could probably develop recon equipment for us too. We could also have them transport goods and direct the mother base support strikes. You can send an item to a co-op teammate from the delivery menu. So yeah, as I was saying, he um he did the voice for Metal Gear Solid 4 very scratchy, like to do the old snake voice. And he said he had a really hard time doing the voice for Snake in this game because the voice kind of just got stuck extra scratchy like that. So. I don't know how true that is, but that's what someone said in chat. And the reason people keep mentioning Pit is because the voice actor who does Chico is actually... Pit. Supplies can now be sent from Mother Base. Supply request. Support strike. Database. Intel team. Support supply marker, rank one. C4, bluegill. Moon Rassi. <laughs> Lobster, Dorado, Trout. Oh yeah, my boy Trout. Parameters went up due to his experience in combat unit. He got sick. Oribe got sick. Receive gifts from other players. No, I think I'm good on this. For now. It's gonna be the same tutorial, isn't it? Um, Intel carries out mission supply support and support strikes. Receive ammo. Heroism decreases with overuse. Higher level. The more supplies you can transport, the more powerful the strikes you can deliver. Okay. Okay, Ch Chico. Intel. Bongo! There's this skit of, like, um, the Beatles on some, like, old show. I think it's Smothers Brothers or something like that. I could be wrong. And they call Ringo Bongo on purpose over and over again. And they just, they don't even acknowledge his existence. They're just like, hello there, Bongo. I don't even think they gave him a microphone. Only one intelligence. That's Chico. Who else is intelligent? We need more intelligent people. The Smothers Brothers and then someone in chat just said the Sister Fisters. I like them better. I don't know. They were pretty good, the Sister Fisters. Amanda is no longer... Oh wait, no, she's still... ...having some problems. Swallowtail. Bongo. Swallowtail. And I bongo iguanas. I... <laughs> I bongo iguana. There you go, that's a name. Yo, you know my boy, Ibongo Iguana? It's pretty cool. I guess that that's really all the intel we we really need for now. Maybe I'm not sure, but that looks that looks about right. Um, C4, start developing that. Supply 
supply drop smoke grenade. I bongo iguana for Smash. The best character. Oh, we got tortilla chips. And we can't make lime soda just yet. Lime soda, it's it's hard to really get that to work. Alright, let's do another few missions and then I might switch games. And do something else. Or... Yeah, maybe I'll switch games. Alright. Extra missions. Classified document retrieval. Here's a rundown of your mission. This one's perfect for a warm-up. Nice and easy. Don't let yourself get lazy, though. Stick to it and get the job done. Let's see, who are... These are my best combat soldiers right here. Meerkat. Look at that motherfucker. This guy looks like anus tart. Gorilla. Fucking gorilla. Alligator, trout. Alligator's pretty badass. Look at alligator. His neck is the same size as his entire, like, head. Like, neck... The difference between neck and head is negligible. Yeah, and Meerkat looks like the fear. And this guy is the swole. Bluegill looks like... Like someone from Dawson's Creek that turned to drugs. Magpie is like Vulcan Raven's, like, stepchild with Chuck Liddell. Mosquito kind of looks like Ken from Street Fighter. Rhinoceros just kind of looks normal. I'm really thinking about Alligator. Like, I'm, I'm thinking about Alligator. Trout kind of blows. I think we're gonna go with Alligator. His neck... ...just makes the decision so easy to make. Sniper Rifle. Supply. And Grenade. Yeah, we got the Trank and the Sniper. And Bino. We got them Binos. Do you think this is going to help me survive this mission? I'm going to make this mission harder for myself by going as a pink. A pink anu anus tart. Look at this sex. This guy gets all the women. What's that? Just, just a pink. Just, just a pink fellow. It's one of them rare pink baboons. There's not enough room, huh? We'll keep it here at the base. Bolton recovery helicopter is complete. Someone in chat just said Dick Simeon. I'm a Dick Simeon. That, that's what I am. I'm not actually a man. I'm a Dick Simeon. That's a story. I told this story before. I don't know if... if it's been a while, but when I did a show... Um, five years ago, I was... Uh, it was a rock show. 
we were doing our songs and stuff. And recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. For some reason, I wanted to make up like a fake cause, you know, because like rock stars have like causes that they can get behind. It's nothing. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. And I, I came. Variation of jungle fatigues. I came up with this thing called a dick simian. And it's um, monkeys in like the jungle that um, ran out of bananas, so they eat dicks. So I'm on stage in between songs, and I'm telling people like, guys, we gotta save the dick simians. You know, just just this is dick simian awareness week, and you know these poor natives are getting their their dicks eaten by these simians who have run out of What's bananas. That? So like, you know. Just be aware of this problem and, and, and help if you can. And my friend's dopey girlfriend at the time, like, completely 100% believed it. And was like, is there a place to donate? So, that is a true story. But we did save the Dick Simeons. I, I want you guys to be aware of that. I don't know how this person in the chat remembered that, but good on you, mate. <laughs> good on you, mate. Thank you for reminding me of that, because it's a fun story, and I can't believe, to this day, that people actually believed me. Like, it wasn't just her, there were more people. That area is not part of the mission. Huh. Only a few, though. Okay, so I'm searching for documents, okay. These important, these big important documents that we gotta recover. They're just lying around in like fucking filthy pits of, of like farts. Pits of farts. Like rotten fucking fruit. That's where you keep important documents, guys. Oh, there it is. Huh. Head for the recovery zone. We'll pick you up there. Okay. You're a pretty big guy. Thanks, Chico. New code name, Butterfly. Title given to soldiers who mainly use short range weapons and favor take down. Enemies with non-lethal four. I am Butterfly. That sounds like a, a really badass soldier name. Badass. Badass code name. I was Crocodile in Metal Gear Solid 3. Now I'm Butterfly. Fuck. <laughs> C4 is now available. Oh. Oh, that's ready for development. Alligator's abilities have increased. Trout's abilities have increased, even though I didn't even use them. But he's, he's just getting strong. Oh, that's expensive. Fuck it. Mm. 
Okay, next mission. This game is very addictive. Just as much as Fallout Shelter is, actually. Speaking of, yeah, so the Android ver version of Fallout Shelter is out. And I'm gonna have to check it right now, because this is important. I have streamed Shadow of the Colossus, yes. That is an excellent game. I fucking love that game. Snake. According to Chico, the nuclear materials will be loaded from a train and onto a truck at a rail terminal near the eastern foot of Irazu. If we can't cut him off at that terminal, we'll be in a world of hurt. Hurry, Snake. I've got... how many residents do I have in Fallout Shelter before I get bored of this game? Let's see... Um... Oh, I have a, a new child, Joseph Walker. I have 25 residents, so it's not very many. Um, still kind of new to the Fallout Shelter stuff. Diana Snyder is out. She's got a bunch of cool stuff. She's killing giant ants. Keith Wood just found like five weapons. And Keith West has a bunch of combat armor and weapons, and he's coming back, and he's killing Yaoi hands. So that's that's happening. Um, oh, another new baby, Kathy Jackson, has been born, guys. This is the greatest day of my life. And now I can build an athletics room to get swollen agility. Okay, well, Fallout Shelter... Let me just go ahead and exit out of that immediately. I've never streamed any of the Fallout games, actually. I may have streamed... No, never. Not even with mods or anything like that. I'm gonna go for the M16A1 again. I'm gonna try to rank that thing up a little bit. Or you know what? No, let's let's go for sniper rifle. I think the sniper rifle is probably a little more useful. But it's not as useful for when I have to clean up a fucking mess. So you know what? Screw it. M16 it is. I never streamed the mod I was in, no. Uh, I do plan on streaming Fallout 4. The train terminal is on the other side of the coffee factory. Head for the factory first. Jesus. To get to the coffee factory, you'll first need to backtrack to the fork in the road. Fuck's sake, man. Fuck's fucking sake. I hear more footsteps. Not enough room, huh? We'll keep it here at the base. Hey! Huh. Is somebody there? Nope. Bolton recovery helicopter is complete. No one's here. Neither are you. Not anymore.
You know, it's really weird thinking about like Holding not existing. Subject confirmed on board helicopter. Like getting shot with a trank dart and then just not existing for like five hours. And then the Holding dudes wake up and they're like, is complete. "Oh, okay. Um, I guess I'll I'll join this army. That that sounds all right to me." Yeah, you know, I've I've wanted to join this army for a long time. I just didn't know how to apply. So I'm I'm really I'm glad I'm here. I'm not going to like you know, I'm not going to do anything stupid like betray you. And every night we go to bed. And it's like, "Oh, well, we're just going to sleep." No, we're we're not existing. For like eight hours. It's very strange. Very strange. Nicholas Cage should make a movie about this. Sleep. What is it? I don't know. There's a coffee factory to the northeast. Beyond that is a train terminal. Sniper's back. When he stops firing, the guards are gonna be like, ah, uh, Mark fell asleep again. That dopey son of a bitch. Always sleeping on the job. <laughs> okay, that was pretty awesome. Yes! Oh, the, the wall throw! Tortilla chips! Fulton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Make your way to the coffee plantation northeast of here. Well, I gotta go down this way first for some reason. There might be some hidden things here. And Fulton's like a motherfucker. I wanted to squeeze at least one round off into that guy's head. But it looks like no one heard me. And it looks like I won't need to squeeze any more rounds off. But I, I needed to squeeze one out, guys. You, you can understand that, yeah? Have tortillas and rations. Anus. A anus. What did I just pick up? What the fuck did I just pick up? Anuses? Oh, it's a POW.
These birds, man. Jesus, fuck, these birds are loud. Oh, by the way, just in case anyone's wondering, you can go prone, which increases your camo very highly, but you cannot move around in it. Like, so Snake lost that ability. Sometime after Metal Gear Solid 3, sometime in the late 60s, you know, like, right around Sergeant Pepper Abbey Road, so mid to late 60s, Snake did so much acid with Timothy Leary and Bob Dylan that he just forgot how to, like, crawl. A snake that cannot crawl. There's got to be some cool way to say that in another language. Like the snake who does not crawl. Serpiente. Los no crawl hano. Anything. Start talking. Uh -huh. I believe you. Start talking. Uh -huh. I uh I want to join you. Start talking. Uh -huh. Start talking. Uh -huh. I thought you wanted to join us. <laughs> Gotta kick you in the fucking ass so you don't. Tell the other guards that I'm here. This is what you wanted. We have an intense workout uh, regimen every day, which includes a very hefty dose of dick. Very hefty. Hope you're up for it. The dickings begin at 4.30 a.m. every morning. He knows. That, that dude was all for it. The POW. I'm hoping I can get more Fultons, actually. I, maybe I could use the supply marker? Well, may as well try it out at least once. See what it's all about. Once it's set... Once it's set, press RT to receive ammo and items. It just went right back to the base. It actually... Yeah, that was not what I was looking for at all, actually. But that's fine.
It's like, hey, Snake would love this stuff. Oh, oh, he can't use it. Oh, he sent it back. Oh, now I feel like a dick. I mean, I really thought he wanted that stuff. <laughs> you know, he didn't even bring those weapons with him. Right. Right. But... You know. Where the fuck are you, and what the fuck is Juice? I'm seeing things. Yes. <laughs> it's gonna be a pretty tough shot to make, I think, but... If I had a mouse and keyboard, that shot would have been not much of a problem, but using a controller, it's always kind of hard to... I can't help you. I don't have any more Fultons. I still have a hard time believing there are people who prefer playing first-person shooters on a console with a controller rather than PC. Like, they're... they're with some help, maybe? There are people that would swear by that. It just does not make any sense. factory to reach the train terminal. Gee, I wish I didn't use all my Fultons. I can't help you. I can't even eat a snake to cheer you up. Let him go, he's gonna just try to shoot me anyway. Start talking. Uh. Start talking. Uh. Tortilla. That sounds like a Pokemon. Tortilla. Tortilla. Ambidextrous. Ambidextrous. Ambi. Ambidextrous. Queef. Queef. Joe Rogan. Joe. Joe Rogan. <laughs> Apple bottom jeans. Boots with the fur. Apple bottom jeans. These are all good Pokemon names. I deem them worthy. Damn. Tons of POWs I can't rescue. I can't even, like, untie them. They're just stuck there.
Kanye West. No, I don't know. I mean, I'm still not sure about a full playthrough of this. I already did like an hour and a half or two hours or so on my own. So already there's a bunch of story that was missed. And, you know, it's like, it is a longer game than Metal Gear Solid 3, especially if you do the extras like I want to. So, you know, I'll see how much I can stream of this, but also I don't want this to interfere too much with my regularly scheduled broadcasting, so to speak. Because I, I do want to finish Bayonetta at a, like a reasonable amount of time. But, uh, we'll see. We'll see. A 100 part series. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Apparently, if you want to, like, do everything, upgrade the base fully, and get everything, which I wouldn't do. I would just do the extra missions and stuff. But if you want to get everything, it's about 100 hours. Every, every minute, 100 hours. Looks like we're just in time. Neutralize all enemies and secure the train. You hear that, Meg? We're being shot at. What was that? What's wrong? Something wrong? What's going on over there? What's wrong? They'll never know. You, you and you and me, Chico, hundred hundred years. More of these twats. Second gen battle tank. God damn it. To be continued. In the next mission. Okay, that'll be a good place to stop. So I'll do this tank battle. Tank battle. Um, you guys recommend the same setup? Rocket launcher and trank? Somehow I got a C for that mission. I was pretty sure I did pretty good. I think it was my clear time that wasn't so good, though. Zero alert phases. M60. Sonic Eye. What? Kills take down your ranks? Oh. Oh. RPG rank one. M60 ready for development. Time to scream. Dalmatian. Oh, that Dalmatian. It's got such an intimidating name. Always causing trouble and stuff. Let's just 
just auto assign. Sonic I rank one. I don't know what the hell that is. Machine guns. All right, so you know, definitely want that machine gun. RPG two. Items. Sonic Eye. Details. Sensor that displays nearby sound sources as animated symbols, not affected by surrounding objects. A prototype will only work when lying down or against a wall. Eh, a little poopy, but I'll try it. Give it a shot. I like I like gadgets. I like devices. Sorry about the crackles. My my re cable replacement that's supposed to fix this has not arrived yet, sadly. I, I ordered it a week ago. It should be here tomorrow or Monday. Snake, that's an enemy tank unit. Either neutralize the soldiers or destroy the tank. Get them. Alright, we're going to do... This time I'm going to do something a little different and try out this RPG. Grenade, empty mag supply, smoke. Get rid of the walk man. And we'll put the uh, tortilla chips. Wait, what was that? I had a... Mate? All oh, right, that's T. Tonight, I won't be playing Splatoon, no. In fact, I'm not even sure I'll be streaming something after this. I've been streaming this for a long time, surprisingly. G son. So halfway and then oh. God damn it. God damn it, tank. Jesus! Get the fuck out of there! Whoa! Keep rations equipped to automatically recover life when it reaches zero. Whoa! So far, so good.
fucking pass out already. Christ. Alright. Alright, guys. Probably only a few guys left. A few enemies left. There's a Fulton subject over here. I'm gonna try to get them. Bad timing. There's the captain. Can you take him down? Shit. <laughs> Who? Okay. Who gave this guy an infinite ammo cheat? complete nice and I got a bunch of soldiers too oh, most in the gun awesome yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get that weapon again. Road past the tunnel. So it was nukes after all. What now? Their main base is up ahead. I better hurry after them then. But Kaz, if I don't Kaz. get moving, it'll be too late. All right. I guess you never did let dangerous assignments or risk aversion get in your way. How do I get inside the mountain? I can forget about the tunnel. Yeah, the tank took care of that. Any other routes? Why don't I let a local expert take over? Snake, you need a way uh, to the mountain? A kid? Yeah, got one. Mm, let's see. Uh, uh, do you remember that precinct I was in? In the village, right? Right. Go back to the village and head north. There is a bridge that connects to the mountain road. It crosses over a gorge. That's probably the best way. But there is a little problem. The path heading north from the village is barricaded. You might have to break through. Got it. The heart of Irasu. That's where the enemy's base has got to be, Snake. And maybe... Let me guess. The Basilisk. You don't believe me, do you? No, I mean... We'll have to see. Snake, Irasu features a number of crater lakes. The Odeberg government had planned to use those lakes to construct hydroelectric plants as one of its big state development projects. The project was scrapped, but there's still a small opening at the bottom of the lake. Meaning? I checked the satellite imagery, but didn't see anything man-made, which means they probably built a base inside the mountain. Could just be a storage igloo for explosives, or maybe some kind of research facility. What do they hope to accomplish by bringing the nukes there? First things first, get past that barricade north of the village. Looks like the only way through is the noisy way. You'll have to blow it up. But that'll ruin my stealth. I don't want to ruin my stealth. This is a stealth game. I can't blow things up. People get mad at me when I blow things up.
Oh, that's that's online thing. Okay, we got the eye, the most in the gun. Very nice. That's I want that. Toucan. <laughs> Toucan has been sent to the Cottontail and Toucan. These fucking names. <laughs> the three names you would not expect going to the brig. And see Anemone. How do you how do you even fuck Anemone? This isn't Spanish, is it? But Anemone. Anyway, yeah, it's you would not expect these people to be the most dangerous. Honey buzzard, Dalmatian. You gotta come to my club. It's called Honey Buzzard Dalmatian. Hari Kinkaju. Kinkaju? <laughs> what? So, guys, can I ask you a question? How is... Is she not... Are they not fully recovered? Like, because she seems... Okay. How do I get her fully recovered? No, hair. It was Hare Krishna. Yeah, I was trying to make a Hare Krishna thing. It did not work at all. It was bad. It was very bad. It takes a good while. Upgrade the medical team. Well, medical team has got quite a few people on it. Let's do some research and then I'm going to probably take a quick BRB before the art. Anyway, um, yeah, so this, this game is really good, and I just want to, again, recommend it. If you can find a copy of the HD collection on whatever systems it came out, I guess it was 360 and PS4. If you can find a copy of this game, I think it's worth it. Metal Gear Solid 2, 3, and Peace Walker. This was maybe one of the best purchases. It was 25 bucks at GameStop. You'd probably find it cheaper than that, but um, probably some of the best value I've ever received for my money. Yeah. Highly recommended. Peace Walker is, is a really pleasant surprise. I can't wait to fucking use a Metal Gear to force peace through this world. I'm ready. I'm ready for peace. Peace Walkers in the Legacy Collection. Oh, I didn't know that. Twin Snakes I have too. Twin Snakes is not as bad as people think it is, and it's not as good as people think it is. Um, what I mean by that is, it's a good game. It's, you know, based on Metal Gear 1, Metal Gear Solid 1. There's some new control stuff that I like. There's the first person aiming, which is really good. Um, a few things have been streamlined. However, the cutscenes are a little bit much. Um, the the music isn't as good. I love love Metal Gear Solid uh, music. Twin Snakes music is just forgettable. So, and they re-recorded the voice the voiceover. So there's there's some problems with that too, Morty. It's not as good as the original, but it has some improvements. If you're in it for the gameplay, you'll probably like it. So, yeah, I mean, this is great. I just, I forgot how good the series was. I watched some of the Secret Theater stuff, but not all of it. Um, I keep getting weird offers for partnerships. Like, like I get, like, fucking partnerships to, like, Oh, this one doesn't actually sound terrible, but I've had some weird ones in the past where it was like, do you wish to press vinyl records? 
like this was a while back. I've I've also had some weird offers to like, you know, make like um, watches and sell watches or like shill watches. That was a weird one. Um, I had another one that was like, you should um, advertise this product on your streams and we'll give you 5% of all the sales. And it was like, the product was like orthopedic sunglasses, <laughs> something weird, like something that made no sense. I just, I just ignore, just ignore, ignore, ignore. Weird. Um, yeah, I guess that's what happens when people start seeing your YouTube channel do well. You, you get really fucking bizarre attempts at people making money off of you. So just a word of advice to any new YouTubers or any streamers, just turn that shit down. Um, even network offers for YouTube, mostly turn them down because they will... There's a lot of networks that are pretty scummy on YouTube that, that really won't do anything for you but just take your money. And then there are some that are really good. So... It's like in the early days, you don't really want to see yourself being um, taken, especially don't sign in to a network that offers you like a two-year contract. Never do that. Like three months at a time, fine. One month at a time, even better. But like a year, two years, mostly you'll see the, the networks that have like um, sign up for a year. But if it's like two years to five years, I've seen people sign five-year contracts. No no, do not do that. So advice, please. Just if you're if you're starting a channel and you want to try to like be successful with it, just one just try to be yourself, like don't pander even though that seems to work just fine for a lot of people. But you what you're going to have to do is really just be very careful about what offers you take because there are a lot of people that will take advantage. And um if someone offers you 5% of orthopedic sunglasses, just refuse that. So, uh, I'm going to go actually, I'm going to check the art and then I'm going to go because I'm going to eat dinner and see if anything's going on. And I'll tell you what, if I'm around later, I'll stream some stuff for you guys. Also, there's a new, I am bread update. And I know a lot of people have been requesting. I play that. So you, you got it. It'll happen. Uh, I love that game. And I'm I'm really curious to see what the fuck they did with it for the newest update. Um, okay, so again, if I miss any art, please let me know by posting it to me on Twitter. At Vinny Vine Sauce is the Twitter name. So this one's from Hoji, and that's uh, me with my Rick, my Rickenbacker. I have another guitar called Morty. No, I don't. From Ray Strick. Uh, oh, this is because it's Joel's absence from Malacious. It's um, pretty cool, actually. I like this a lot. That 80s kind of style. Or like just neon pixels, I guess. Oh, God, I said pixels. Am I going to get sued by Sony? Are they going to take down my videos because I said the word pixels? From Ala Lampone. I believe I've shown this one already, but if I haven't, there it is. From a matted oak, there's a vine swole. From Ice God, 64. Just me, you know, just me interrogating in Metal Gear. Just being cool like that. Definitely didn't mean to punch people in the head or anything. Uh, okay, there's, there's some more over here. Okay, from Mossy, or Moss, M-O-S-S-E. That's, uh, me on an island playing a 3DS. Nicely drawn. From Suzy Q. That's pretty disturbing, but really well done, actually. So this is what it would look like if it was on the Genesis, guys. <laughs> if you don't know what this is, just type Sonic Dreams Collection. You know what? Don't type Sonic Dream Collection on YouTube. Don't. 
But if you want to see me play it, don't type Vine Sauce Sonic Dream Collection in YouTube. Um, I'd like to think I didn't overreact too much to it, but there were some moments that really genuinely fucking caught me off guard. Don't type it in, though. Don't look it up. I don't recommend it. <laughs> Not at all. So this is from 8-Bit Beetle. This is a really nice BRB. This is great, actually. This is um, the little vine duck that 8-Bit's uh, been drawing. We're experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. The name of the duck maybe is Voot or Vine Duck. I like Vine Duck. It's simple. But I, I was joking around like Scoot, Voot. I don't know. So it's really nice, though. From Astrica. There's Vinny and Vlinny. Why am I wearing like weird 70s like corduroys and a turtleneck? <laughs> uh, it's awesome though. Nicely done. From ComJ. There you go. There's the video Vine Sauce Volume 1 VHS cover. Meet Vinny. He likes to play on his NES. But he does more than that. On this cassette tape, you'll get to see him corrupt games, talk to famous people, and even play some music. It's fun to watch. Interview with Mike Tyson, NES reviews, and then there's a picture of the corruptions on it. That was, you know, look, if I was born in like the 60s, I would have had to do that. Let's face it. There would have been Vine Sauce VHSs going around in porn stores. Like back in, here's a true story. I don't know why I've thought of this, but back in like the 70s, I think even like the 60s and 80s, there were, um, in, in Manhattan, there were a lot of like smut shops. Like you would just walk in, just rows of porno, like jack off theaters where you'd go in, you'd be able to just watch a movie and just jack off on the wall. And then some, some fucking sad sap would have to clean it. it it's really just bizarre. But there were like streets in Manhattan that were filled with these things like these stores were all over the place and then i think it was mayor giuliani who in the 90s was like we have to have a rule about this and then the rule was and this is true you can only have one sex store every like certain amount of blocks like like i think it's like one per three blocks or something like that i'm probably way off but that he made it so there's a limit of the amount of porn that could be on a street at any one time in his attempt to clean up the city. That plus, you know, cleaning up the graffiti, more cops, you know, cleaning the streets of the city. It's very safe now. Manhattan is, is seriously really, really nice, really safe. Most of Manhattan, I would say. Um, but yeah, there was a time where you were just like, oh, you know, I'm feeling a little horny. I'm just going to go take a walk to the store over there. Oh, wait, wait what's this? I, I can go into a room and watch some big, like, poofy vagina. And, and, and I, can, I can jack off on a wall. This is great. It sounds absurd, but this is how it was. This is actually how it was. Those days are over now. From Thistle Blackfur. You had nightmares about that Sonic game, Vinny? Do tell. You're only curious about the subject of the dreams. <laughs> um... I don't remember like specifics, but I could tell you there was one dream that involved someone putting their hand in fire and burning themselves. That one was the night of the Sonic Dreams collection, which I don't think really had any specific thing to do with Sonic, but it was um, someone that I know in my life who put his hand in fire to specifically with the purpose of burning his hand off. And that was the dream I had the night of Sonic Dream Collection. Don't know if it's related, but it was fucking terrifying. Um, there were more, too. There was at least one or two more, but I don't... I can't specifically give you details because I just don't remember them. From Blankface, only you can save these poor creatures. Donate now to save the endangered dick simians. I like how the, the dick is actually blurred. Like, we don't know what it is. From the Kime. I've seen things no mortal should ever see. Great art. Like, seriously amazing art. Really, really well done, Kime. 
K I M M E H. I think that's how you say it. Kimmer. But um, yeah, awesome. I would love to see more art from you on the Buru. Um, actually, there was a few other pieces in the past, but anyway, from there's one more from Blank Face. Start talking. So, I hope you enjoyed Peace Walker. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I don't know, you know, how I'm going to approach the Peace Walker stream situation because I, I think, you know, I enjoyed it. I don't know if you guys did. Um, you know, maybe tweet me. Let me know how much Peace Walker you want to see. Like, do you want 50% of the game? Do you want just some scattered missions? Do you want the whole game streamed? Um, just remember, if I stream the whole game, that will take some time away from my other games that I stream. So, you know, there's a good chance that I, I may end up delaying some other stuff. Um, I want to start S South Park Sick of Truth soon. I'm really excited to play that. That will be really, really soon. And I also have more Bayonetta 2 to do. But, um, anyway, I'm going to be, um, I'm not, if, look, even if people say stream the whole game, there's a very high chance I won't be streaming the whole game. Probably just going to be a series of, like, non-connected streams. But I'm just curious. I want to see what you guys think. You could just tweet it at me, at Vinny Vine Sauce. My email is fucked. It's clusterfucked right now um, and, and continues to get clusterfucked. So if you've been emailing me and I haven't responded, again, nothing personal. It's just I, I can't get to this many emails. And um, a lot of people are asking for very, like, questions with very long answers. So I, again... I do the best I can, and uh, if I if I didn't get a response, if you didn't get a response to one of my emails, then I apologize. Um, that's it for me right now. I'm gonna go. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon. Check out vinesauce.com to see the other streamers, and I will uh, be around more than likely tomorrow, and of course Sunday as well. There's a chance, albeit a small chance, I'll be back later on tonight with more video games. So, you know. Maybe that'll happen. But anyway, good night, everyone. See ya.